Good morning, everybody. This is Max Farrow. This is uh, Dex Trader. Um, and on our uh, live account here, we're getting started for the week. Uh, I didn't trade on Sunday night, but here it's Monday, uh, August 21st. Day of the solar eclipse. I'm only going to trade for a little while so I can go watch the solar eclipse. Hopefully you get to watch it as well. All right. So we had a signal come over this morning at um, uh, 9.15. Uh, about seven minutes ago, we uh, started out the buy on a USD CAD. Now, I didn't choose any of these other ones. I, I could have went with the Audi JPY, I guess, but I, I picked up the USD CAD because it had 93% success rate. It has a very large uh, um, process of success, uh, 100% uh, for, for, for the week. 93.6 last week, so not too bad. Um, so I'm looking at these uh, Audi USD2 as 100% for the month. Um, I can even go back and look at that one again. Um, look over to signals, Audi USD, 79.47 on the cell. 79.47 on the cell. 79.48 on the cell. Um, we're kind of sitting at uh, $17 on the contract. I want to be at least $22. Um, Maybe do that place order and put it into my working orders. Now, when I first came in on the USD CAD, I know you haven't seen it, but when I first came in on the USD CAD, um, I was um, I put a working order on, and I did also my when you see the seventy eight, when you see exactly twenty two dollars, uh, you know that's kind of a working order at that point, um, and it dropped down. It was it was only like eighty one dollars when I came in, so I put the working order on. I figure I I don't want to little my money down. Um, because after fees, then I want to make sure that uh, I got at least twenty dollars per trade, um, and because these are so so high in high in um, when you when you pick them correctly, um, they're high high in success rate. That you know I'm not too worried that you know we're gonna we're gonna miss out here. So we're already uh, in in profit now, uh, far into the money. It's fourteen fifteen pips with about thirty six minutes left. I don't think we're going to catch on to the Audi USD. Probably would have if I would have gotten in earlier. But I, again, this is my live account. <laughs> I don't want to uh, uh, um, mess around with any of the money in here unless you know I'm absolutely sure for you know my direction. Uh, with that, let's look at the chart real quick. Kind of go through that process. The USD CAD. Uh, MACD is on its way facing down. Um, but I have some good secure levels here that I like, and I'm using the, as you know, from our friends over at uh, DexIndicators.net. I'm using some things from them. Um, but you see that here's down here, uh, 2568. You might have to enlarge your screen to see it. So this has got a good resistance zone here, a good support zone here, I mean, um, and a good resistance at 2582 up in this area. Could I have really fought with that? Yeah, because there's no news happening because this is the NA intraday signals. Um, but I do feel like we, we have a good, even if it does come up, and it, I feel like this would create a heavy uh, support area to kind of rally this back up and just filter out into this within the next 36 minutes. So we're, that's, what we're, that's what we're hoping on. The Audi USD, of course, uh, shining away to curl over at those levels. Uh, 79.48 right there. Uh, pretty good prime number right there for it to bounce off of. Um, if we would have got in right at the signal, we would have got in right there. Probably been close enough to get into something at that point um, and really drop into it, um, keeping this as a good heavy resistance. Um, but we'll see. There we go. Uh, I'll pause the video for now, come back and uh, show you the result uh, one way or another. We'll see you at the end. After a small brief heart attack, it looks like the Audi USD has uh, been bought up. Uh, sitting at 79.44, we're getting back into profit margin there again. Uh, again, the design of this process of being able to, um, once you put the pair on and you have your level, we're really looking for pullback. Anytime you're going to be using a working order, that's what you're hoping on. You're hoping that it'll get close just enough so it'll pull back and pick up your working order. But sometimes, you know, it's... If the pair is going to be on its way of losing, it's going to get bought up right in this area and it's still going to be losing. So you, you kind of never know at that point. You're, you're hoping that your numbers will just hold true. And that that's that's the big thing. The numbers just holding true is the most important thing. Um, the big thing on the numbers is that the auto USD, if it gets bought up, 
uh, is sitting at a 100% uh, success rate so far this month uh, over 20 days of trading. So I can't complain even if, even if it does fail, I had such a great success rate with this. This would be the first time in 20 something days. So not too bad. Uh, we'll sit here and hold on to this. It looks like we're doing pretty good. Both are sitting on, these are both uh, hundred percent trades that are, that it's sitting on. So even if one does fail, uh, I'm not worried about it. It's all good. All right. So we'll come back here again in just a few minutes, uh, just kind of show you the results. I'll try to capture the last couple of minutes of it. If not, I'll show you the uh, account history at that point. All right, so I'm gonna play this. Uh, I'm just gonna let this play this out and uh, I'm gonna fast forward this so you could watch this thing up and down, up and up and up and down in the next six minutes and let's see what happens. I like this one where it sits with one pip over. <laughs> Just sits here right there. Now we're in we're in the we're in the money on the on the process. But I'm at 79.48. There we go. Now we're kind of kind of sit there. I think it's going to create the the ceiling there. So hopefully that will remain to be what it's supposed to be from this point. I'll come back in a couple minutes. <laughs> and the last 25 seconds, as you see, this is a, uh, a complete and utter <laughs> nonsense of, of craziness. Um, can win, can lose, can win, can lose, and all in the last minute or two. This is why you shouldn't watch in the very last couple of moments, because this is what happens. There you go. Ta-da. Uh, <laughs> any... You know, you, you could sit and you run up and down and doubt and punch yourself in the face and go, I shouldn't have got into the trades and all that kind of good stuff. But this is what it comes down to. There you go. Big winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, um, that was about 80 bucks right there. So uh, another big winner from that position. And of course, keeping strong with our Audi USD uh, at 100%. Um, let me go over to the, here we go. The only one that seemed to have lost at that point was the Euro Great Britain Pound um, from that point. Um, we have another USD CHF on the DPC here. Let's go check that out. Uh, USD CHF uh, today, it's been running 100%, 95% over the last couple of days. Um, let's look at the chart here real quick, not to get into another trade right away. Um, looks for on a sell with a bounce coming at 96 32 what is the the trade for uh, it's on the buy at 96.35 not really liking this one too much uh, let's look at the Audi JPY on this sell 100% 100% the last week it was well, since yesterday um, let's look at that one two trades 20 trades over the week 100% uh, let's look at that the signals Audi JPY on the sell 86.61 Let's go there and to, oh, I've got to hit refresh right here. Let's go to 11. All right, uh, 8661, 8661 on the cell, 8661 on the cell. It's up pretty far. So I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, another working order on and place order and that's basically it that's all I do um, I look for the ones with the highest probability whether or not it's uh, you know I'm looking for the hundred percent I'm looking for the 98 percent on the DPCs uh, over the past week or so no less than you know just dailies I'm not worried about hundred percent I could just take one um, so you know five or six more at a time with a really high success rate that's that's what I'm really looking for all right well that's my video here with trading with max you can look on the sheets here at the end of the week for my success under the max trades uh, and see how well these did. All right, and I'll see you next time. And so that was a, an, an $80 morning so far with this. Uh, hopefully, they will, again, I'm not using a lot of volume here. 
uh, which you know on our corporate accounts we use a higher volume 10 contracts plus so if that would have been a 10 contract plus that would have been a hundred and that'd be that would, that would have been a quite that would have been a quite a big morning uh, let's see that would have been a uh, a 400 dollar morning so far so i think that's uh that's reasonable all right everybody have a great day i'm max farrow this is dex trader and you're trading with max and as always trade well make sure also you subscribe to the video down below please 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 because you'll get to see these videos and see us trading and see how we do it here right all right take care see you inside